We humans are drawn to all things bizarre and unsolved. I can't explain why, it's just the way we are and the way our brains work. And nothing gets our minds going more than unsolved mysteries covering a variety of topics. So, from a plane that crashed into Lake Superior in Canada, with not a single trace of any pilot or passengers being on board, to a German U-boat that was mysteriously sunk by a supposed unknown creature during World War I, here are five incredibly strange mysteries, some of which are actually pretty creepy. As always, sit back and enjoy. The Plane With No Pilot On March the 15th, 2017, a young man from the University of Michigan Flyers Club rented a single-engine Cessna 172 aircraft from Ann Arbor near Detroit. It set off around 7 p.m. and was heading to Harbor Springs, but just under four hours after takeoff, the aircraft crashed into snow near the south shore of Lake Superior in Canada. A search of the crash site revealed the Cessna had broken its wings as it crashed through trees and careered into the deep snow. However, the cockpit was pretty much intact and the passenger side door had been opened from the inside. The strange thing was, there was no sign of the pilot. In fact, there was no evidence a pilot or any passengers had been on board at the time of the crash. No bodies, no footprints, nothing. There wasn't even any flight recording equipment and it's believed the plane had been on autopilot and had run out of fuel before crashing. This was a 33 year old aircraft and for the autopilot to be launched, someone had to have been in the cockpit at takeoff. It would also have not been possible for them to parachute out, as the plane had no roof hatch and was not designed to carry parachutes. The only way in or out of the aircraft was through the main cabin doors. So where were they and how did they escape the crash? Well, we don't know. It later emerged that the police were looking for a postgraduate student from the University of Michigan who had gone missing on the day of the crash I won't name him out of respect for his family as it's a very new event, but it's thought he may have been the pilot of the plane that went down. If so, then where he is now and how he survived is unknown. Maybe it was an elaborate way to disappear, or maybe there is a more sinister explanation to all this, or maybe the missing person has no connection to this at all. What's your thoughts? Area 51 Planes This is another plane mystery but one involving a fleet of passenger planes that are housed at Las Vegas's McCarran International Airport that are neatly lined up in their allocated slots. These unmarked red and white Boeing 737s look perfectly normal. However, these aircraft are not for public use and they only fly to one destination, Area 51. The secretive military base in the Nevada desert and the place many people believe crashed UFOs are housed and holds the secret to alien life and technology. Don't worry, a much overdue documentary will be coming soon. The fleet is run by the United States Air Force and anyone who does board them is sworn to secrecy and cannot reveal where they are going or their line of work. It's thought that when the planes enter the highly restricted airspace near the base, they change their call name from Janet Airlines to a variety of other names, including Janet 210 or Bones 58. As with everything to do with the elusive Area 51, very little is known about the secret airline, such as who it flies to the base or who pilots them. Hillary Clinton, during her presidential campaign, promised to open up classified UFO files to do with Area 51 if she made it to the White House. So there is without a doubt something going on there to do with alien life and unidentified flying objects. Otherwise, why would she and many other high profile figures have said such things? Russian Explosion On the morning of the 30th of June 1908, a fireball descended from the sky and devastated 2,000 square meters of forest near the stony Tunguska River in Russia, with an explosive equivalent of 1,000 Hiroshima atomic bombs. Miraculously, it did not cause any known human casualties, and the ball was initially thought to be a meteor that had disintegrated around 10 kilometers above the ground since no crater was found. The event is still considered one of the largest impact events ever experienced on Earth. The explosion flattened 80 million trees and incinerated nearby wildlife. Those who witnessed it described hearing a huge bang in the sky, followed by a mighty crash and a noise similar to guns firing. 
The explosion supposedly caused shockwaves even as far as the United Kingdom, although despite such a massive explosion, there was hardly any debris. If it were a meteor, there would be craters all around caused by fragments as they hit the surface, but strangely, there was nothing. It was later suggested that the crater-shaped Lake Checo, that lay is just five miles from the explosion site, is the result of debris. This is because the lake was not marked on maps prior to the Tunguska event, and studies of the lake have revealed sediment on the bottom has been building for around 100 years, and that what lies beneath that is a stony matter that could be the remnants of an exploding meteorite. Keep in mind, this is just a theory, and although it's generally believed the explosion was caused by a huge cosmic body slamming into the earth, there are plenty of other theories on what it was, including a massive volcanic eruption, a black hole colliding with earth, or even an ice comet. And of course, there is always the theory that it was something to do with extraterrestrial life. But for now, what exactly caused this supposed gigantic earth-shattering crash is still a mystery. Mysterious Sounds in Canada In the summer of 2016, hunters from the remote community of Nunavut in northern Canada were plagued by a mysterious sound that appeared to be coming from the seafloor. The sound, described as a ping, beep, or hum, has been scaring away animals and impacting the lives of the Inuit people, who traditionally hunt the area for seals, caribou, and whales. But the trouble is, the source of the sound is a mystery, and even when the military was brought in to investigate, they could not get to the cause of the noise, although they were able to rule out submarines as the culprit. There are several theories on what it could be. One suggests that the Baffin Lands Iron Mines Corporation is responsible, as they have been known to perform sonar surveys in the area, although they have denied they are responsible. Another suggestion is that conservation groups like Greenpeace may be responsible, in an effort to scare the wildlife and prevent the Inuit from hunting them, although this has also been denied. So what could this strange noise be? While of course, there are suggestions that the sounds are something to do with either a secret underground military base, hollow earth conspiracy, or some undiscovered sea creature. What's your thoughts? German U-boat is taken down by mysterious creature during World War I. Now this one has inspired me to do a video soon on five mysteries of the First and Second World Wars, because there are so many. But this one began in 1918, when SM UB-85, a German U-boat during World War I, was picked up off the coast of Belfast by the British ship RMS Coriopsis, after she became partially flooded and was forced to surface. All 34 crew were captured by the British and taken as prisoners of war, and the submarine was abandoned. Official records report that the U-boat was just another casualty of World War I, However, an intriguing story emerged when it was reported that whilst the German captain, Gunter Kretsch, was under interrogation by the British, who were trying to establish why the U-boat had been cruising on the surface, he told an extraordinary story of the vessel being overwhelmed by a large sea creature with huge eyes and a bony skull with glistening teeth. The creature supposedly attacked the submarine when it surfaced the night before it was captured to recharge the batteries. He claimed the monster had damaged the vessel so badly that it was left unable to submerge. He also claimed the crew fired at the creature in an attempt to scare it off, but the beast refused to let go of the forward gun mount, and as the vessel began to list, he instructed his crew to continue the attack until the monster eventually slid back into the water. At the time, Gunter's account was dismissed as the ramblings of an under-pressure prisoner of war, although just a year earlier, it emerged there was another report this time from the British captain of HMS Hillary, who also insisted that seafarers were well aware that there were large sea monsters in and around the area that could do some serious damage to ships passing through. Then in 2016, engineers working on electric cables off the Galloway coast discovered what they believe is the intact wreck of UB-85. Cryptologists believe this recent discovered wreck holds the clues to the reported monster sightings reported by the seafarers in the past. It's even been suggested that there is a link to the Loch Ness Monster, as the stretch of water is close to the Loch Ness. This is just one of the many First and Second World War mysteries that I find fascinating. So, that's five very strange, unsolved mysteries that you have hopefully never heard about before. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in more creepy mysteries, 
Then in the first issue of the Thriller magazine, we talked about a story that I think you'll find fascinating. It's the strange case of Juan Pedro Martinez Gomez, a child whose remains haven't been found to this day after a tragic accident on the road had taken the lives of his family, which has opened up a huge list of unanswered questions. To take a look at the issue, just click on the link here on the end screen or in the description below and subscribe to the magazine for a 30 day free trial. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.